Hello, it's Afan from EU Game Host, and in this video I'm going to give you some tricks to increase DDoS protection for your 5M server. You can use these tricks to hide private information about your server and hide all the player's data from displaying publicly. Let's get into this without wasting time. Let me show you how people can see your server information if you're not using this trick. You have to write your server IP colon your server port and info. JSON and as you can see your server all information is revealed same goes with players son you just have to change info to players and you can see all players who are playing server their identifiers and everything if a ddos are able to crash this file your server will crash without impacting your normal vps connection now i'm going to tell you how can you block all the connections to these urls you don't have to do something really big, you just have to write something in your server. CFG. I'll drop these lines in description, you just have to copy them and paste into your server CFG. When set to 3, the SV underscore request panoramia value specifies the maximum distance in which a client can request entities and events from the server. The SV underscore endpoint privacy setting in the server. FG file determines whether the IP address and port of your server are hidden from the client's console logs. When set to true, it enables endpoint privacy, which means that the server's IP address and port are not revealed to clients. When SV underscore authmin request is set to 4 in the server.cfg file of a 5M server, it means that only clients with an authentication level of 4 or higher are allowed to send requests to the server. This setting is used to restrict certain actions or server resources to clients who have attained a specific authentication level, typically indicating a higher level of trust or authority on the server. After saving this file, let's restart the server and I'll show what happens if someone tries to search these URLs. The server is restarted, let's search the same URLs again. As you can see, if someone searches these URL, they see the player's info before, but now refresh and see what they see now. You can see if someone tries to search player JSON, it shows nope, and now nobody can access the URL. Info JSON file cannot be accessed, and it shows a connection error because we have blocked it from CFG, and same goes for dynamic JSON file. I hope you like this tutorial. For more tutorials, you can leave suggestions in the description, and don't forget to leave a good comment. See you in the next video. Bye.